All right, I'm not even going to lie to you. The last clip was busted. The mic was not on. I repeat, the mic was not on. I don't know what the heck is going on with that. Right now, we're on 150 hertz plus the high frequency boost. So hopefully right now the sound is cool and not getting murked by the wind because the wind is busting. But as you can see, we have the Acura 2003 CL Type S Type-ish, you know. You're going to have to check out the link in the description to see the car tour when it's looking like super duper good because this pollen, you can't even battle this. Like as soon as you get done getting this off, it'll be right back on. Like, come on. The camera probably ain't even doing it justice, but it's literally a thin coating all over the vehicle. I don't know, it's probably not even picking up. It's all over that. I can see it, but like I said, but it's too bright out here for me to tell if the camera can see it, but it's looking rough. Coming inside, first thing you're gonna see when you open the door is this right here. This is just a light so you can shine on the ground at nighttime and it shows whatever you choose to purchase. Mine just shows the Acura symbol and I have it on both sides, it's real nice. Right here we just have the lens cap to my camera lens, nothing too spectacular. Right here we have a little trees posted up, but the smell does not last that long. So it's really just there to look cool, I guess, at this point. Pop this bad boy open right here. Might have a pen or some sticky notes in there. Inside the Astra, I have two different chargers, but they're nothing spectacular, just some regular chargers. But I didn't want to throw them away because I didn't want to just waste them because they can be used for something. Over here, we have this nice anchor charger. This bad boy charges pretty fast. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's no joke. And what I have plugged into it is my cell phone charger, and then I have this Bluetooth transmitter. So what this allows me to do is get Bluetooth music from my phone into my stereo without having to go replace all this. So all I had to do was buy a cassette tape adapter that has the 3.5 on the end. So I put that in there, and then I plug it into the Bluetooth transmitter, and it connects to my phone, and then I can listen to my music. Now, I will tell you, you want to make sure that you don't turn your phone volume up too loud. You just want to keep it to like maybe like 50% volume or maybe one notch below because after that it'll start to distort the sound and you do not want that. It's going to be annoying and it's going to sound terrible. So just a heads up for that. And then below that under the ashtray, you know we got to keep this. You know you got to keep this on you. So that's down there. Some Germex, hand sanitizer, whatever you want to call it. We got the charger, like I said. Then right here, this is from the car tour. I usually don't keep it here, but it's kind of growing on me. It's just a fake plant, and it's not too big, so it fits in the cup holder. It looks cool. I think it does, at least. Yeah. Chilling. And then we got some quarters down there, just in case I want to vacuum out the car and get it looking like this. But I'm not going to even lie to you, it's out of town, because that's the only place I can find a good, good, good vacuum cleaner. Coming over to the seat right here, we have a face mask, we have a microfiber towel, and then we have some headphones, some Bluetooth headphones. In the glove compartment, nothing too spectacular. We got some toilet paper, just in case it's needed. We got some napkins, maybe even some straws in there. And then we do have some disinfectant wipes because disinfectant wipes, like, I don't know what else to tell you right now, you feel me? And then right here, we have the tripod that I use to record videos or you know just set the camera up somewhere and then over here on this door you see we have another one of those lights that shines the acura symbol onto the ground at nighttime up here we don't have any sunglasses but you can always put sunglasses up here i have some of this fresh tranquil sky stuff from armor all and to be honest i really can't smell it when i use it so it's just up there chilling. And then under here where your feet are, I have some RGB lights as well that shines from here and then it just shines on in. I have one over there on that side and I have one on the back passenger and the back driver's side. Right here when you first open the trunk to the right, I have the dog car seat type deal. And then I have right here my mount for the windshield for my camera or I can put my phone on it too to record. And then right here, this bad boy is no joke we have this trunk organizer because without this, my trunk will look terrible. I also keep this foam cannon in here. So this is nice. Keep that box right here. And then I have this window cleaner as well. It comes in handy with all this uh, pollen on the windows. Opening up the trunk organizer, we have all the different things that I have. In this first section, we have some water hose nozzles. We have the flexi hose, 75 foot. I love that bad boy. 
And then over here we have the different things that I have as far as cleaning. Right here is just a bottle of soap and water. Right here we have the Rain-X. This is wonderful. It helps the water bead off of your windshield. I have a video for that reviewing how that works. Right here we have some glass cleaner by Armorall. Then we have the Extreme Tire Shine. We have the Armorall Original Protect, the multi-purpose cleaner for that as well, the wheel and tire cleaner, the wash and wax on this side. Then coming over here in this bag, we have the foam cannon that I just showed you the box for. Just set that right there. We have some 3M tape just in case I gotta restick those lights. Some microfiber towels, you never can go wrong with microfiber. We got some injector cleaner, might need some of that. A toothbrush, you might need to spot detail, clean something, you never know. Then we got these brush heads right here that actually connect to a drill so you can get real good in the carpet if you want to or maybe your wheels and stuff if they're not something that you're worried about scratching. This is the box for those lights, I need to just throw that away. Some more towels. Want to make sure you have a lot of these type towels. These towels right here, I call them just throwaway towels. You know, they just do the job. Like, they'll get something off. But these bad boys hold stains. Like, once they get stained and dark and dirty, they probably ain't going to come out. Like, just going to be looking raggedy. More microfiber towels. Like, come on, gee. But I keep these in the Ziploc bag so they won't get anything on them. Clorox wipes. You already know why you got that. We got some more cleaning stuff some wipes then we have some tire foam to get your tires shining nice and then we have some more of those ziploc bags that i'll be using to separate some of this stuff high shine turtle wax car soap nice stuff i like it and then right here is just a box for the anchor charger that i showed y'all earlier then in the front of the organizer we have a couple of tire pressure gauges this one's battery powered, so if it dies, you always got this for backup. And we have some gloves over here, just in case you want to do something as far as cleaning or you gotta, you know, just whatever that you don't want to get something on your hands comes in handy. That man said it comes in handy. I don't even know why I got this random screwdriver right here, but I guess, I guess. And technically right here, we do keep stuff to jack the car up in case you got a flat or got to change a tire or something like that, that's over there. Almost forgot to show y'all inside the armrest, but it's nothing really special in here. It's just a cord, a 3.5 to 3.5, and then there's this stuff right here, and it helps you get dust and stuff out of the crevices and cracks in your vehicle. So I keep that in there as well. And then I have a dongle for my iPhone, so nothing too crazy. And a lighter down there, right there, but I don't even know when I put that in there, so yeah. And that's been what's inside of my car. Nothing too crazy, but that's what's in there right now. That's what I need in there. I don't feel like I need much more i was thinking about holding off on a video but i was like dang i don't even know what else i could add now i do know for a fact i do need to add a couple things though i just now remember i do need some jumper cables because i need some jumper cables or i need one of those little chargers like the little blocks that just charge you you don't gotta have another car to jump you off that would be cool too i don't even got that so yeah like I said, if you want to see this vehicle looking better than this, it might look okay to you today because I'm in direct sunlight, but in person, it's looking tough. If you want to see this bad boy looking nice and clean, check out the video in the description. There will be links in the descriptions for all the things that I've showed you in the video. If I can't find the exact thing, I'll try to find something close, something that I wouldn't mind having in exchange for what I actually have. So it's just not going to be something random. And if I can't find it, ouch, I, I can't find it. But I'm not even trying to talk like that. Hopefully I find them all for everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, slam the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.